next set of poses we're going to do Surya Namaskar B. That's 17 poses straight through. We're going to inhale, arms up into awkward chair pose. Exhale, fold forward into Uttanasana. Inhale, halfway up. Exhale, fold forward, hands on the mat. Step back into Chaturanga Dandasana. Inhale, up into Up Dog. Adho Mukha Savasana. Exhale, into Down Dog. Take a deep breath in. Exhale. Bend your right knee and bring it forward through your midline between your hands. Place your left foot on the mat and rise up into warrior one. Placing your palms together and looking up towards the sky. Your right foot is at a 90 degree angle over your ankle. Your hips are square toward the front of the room. Take a deep breath in, deep breath out. Plant your hands on the mat beside your right foot. Step your right foot back, lower down into Chaturanga Dandasana. Inhale up into Up Dog. Exhale back into Adho Savasana. Inhale, exhale, bend your left knee, and bring it forward through the midline between your hands. Place your right foot at a 30 degree angle on the floor, and rise up into warrior one. Palms should come together, your gaze should be towards your palms. Your knees should be at a 90 degree angle, and your hips should be squared toward the front of the room. Take a deep breath in, deep breath out. Place your hands on the mat on either side of your foot. Lower down into Chaturanga Dandasana. Inhale up into Up Dog. Exhale into Down Dog. We'll stay here for three breaths. The bottom of your next exhalation, jump, step, or float to the front of your mat. Rise up halfway. Exhale, fold forward. Inhale, rise up into chair pose. Exhale, Samas Dtihi, hands to heart center. You're gonna do that one more time. Inhale into chair pose. Bukatasana. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, rise up halfway. Ardha, Uttanasana. Exhale, fold forward. Uttanasana. Push your hands on the mat. Step back into high plank. Lower down into Chaturanga, Dandasana. Inhale, rise up into Ardha Mukha, Savasana. Exhale, back into down dog. Auto, Mukha, Savasana. Inhale, and exhale. Bend your right knee and bring it through your midline between your hands. Place your foot down. Place your left foot down at a 30 degree angle. And when you have your balance, 
Rise up into warrior one. Fear of Adrasana center one. Push your palms together. Look up towards the sky. Make sure your knee is stacked over your ankle at a 90 degree angle. Take a deep breath in. And a deep breath out. Push your hands on the mat on either side of your foot. Lower down, Chaturanga Dandasana. Inhale up into Urpa Mukha Savasana. Exhale into Auto Mukha Savasana. Bend your left leg and bring it through your midline and place it between your hands. Turn your right foot to a 30 degree angle and place it on the mat. When you have your balance, rise up into warrior one, fear of Vajrasana one. Push your palms together. Look up towards the sky. Take a deep breath in. A deep breath out. Make sure your skip hips are square to the front of the room. Place your hands on either side of your foot. Step back, lower down, Chaturanga, Dandasana. Inhale up. Urdhva Mukha Savasana. Exhale. Auto Mukha Savasana. Stay here for three breaths. Inhale, look to the front of your mat. Jump, step, or front, or float to the front of your mat. Inhale, halfway up. Exhale, fold forward. Inhale, up into Utkatasana. Exhale, hands to heart center. Samastitihi. Inhale, your arms overhead. Clasp your palms together. Intertwine your fingers. Your pointer fingers should be straight up ahead. Your ears should be between, be between your arms. And you're going to pinch to the right side. Breathe in. And breathe out. Your left hip should come slightly forward, your right hip back. Come back to center. And hinge to the left. to center. Look up towards the sky and bend backwards. Come back up to center. Exhale, arms to your side. Inhale, forward fold. Your head fall to the floor. Your feet should be two fists distance apart. Take hold of your big toes with your first two fingers in yoga toe grip and wrap your big finger, your thumb around your toes. The crown of your head should fall towards the floor. On the inhale, we're going to lengthen, and on the exhale, we're going to bend our knees. At 
extend our arms rather. Inhale, lengthen our arms. The crown of our head comes forward. Exhale, our arms are bent and our head comes down. Release your yoga toe grip and take your right palm and place it under your right foot, stepping all the way back into the crease of your wrist. And take your left palm, stepping all the way back into the crease of your left palm. On the inhale, we're going to straighten our arms and look forward. On the exhale, we're going to bend our arms. Release your right hand to the mat and then your left hand to the mat. Bring your hands to your hips, rise up halfway, exhale, rise up all the way. Take a big step backwards and turn your right foot to a 30 degree angle. Your left knee should be stacked over your left ankle at a 90 degree angle. Your arms will come up over your head. Palms placed together. Virabhadrasana 1, Warrior 1. Look up towards your palms. Take a deep breath in and a deep breath out. Bring your hands to the ground. Bring your foot. Lower down to Chaturanga. Tanasana. Inhale up into Urdhva Mukha Savasana. Exhale into Down Bow. Inhale, bring your right foot between your hands. Place your left foot on the mat. Rise up into warrior one. On the right side, look up towards your palms. Exhale, bring your hands to shoulder height. Turn your left foot out parallel to the long side of your mat. Warrior two, look towards your right fingertips. Relax your shoulders. Hips should be squared towards the long side of your mat. Straighten your right leg. Pinch forward, as far as you can, forward. When you can't reach further, any further, reach your right arm down to either your foot, your ankle, your shin, and bring your left arm up over your head, stacked above your shoulder. Look up towards your left arm. For Trikonasana, triangle pose. to warrior two. Exhale your right arm to your right thigh. Bring your left arm over your head as if you're 
making a straight 90 degree angle. Look up towards your arm. Breathe in and breathe out. For Utita Parsvakanasana. Open your chest up. Exhale back into Warrior Two. Wind wheel your arms around to bring your foot. Bring your right foot back to meet your left. Exhale down to Chaturanga Navasana. Inhale up into Urdhva Mukha Savasana. Exhale into Adho Mukha Savasana. Deep breath in. Deep breath out. Inhale. Step your left knee forward and your foot between your hands. Bend your right foot at a 30 degree angle and rise up into warrior one. Turn your right foot parallel to the long side of the mat and come into warrior two. Your left knee should be stacked over your left ankle at a 90 degree angle. Your shoulders should be relaxed. Your hips should be square towards the long side of the mat. Your gaze should be towards your left middle finger. Straighten your left leg. Hinge forward as far as you can, and when you can't go any further, drop your left arm to either the floor, your shin, or your feet, and let your right arm come up stacked above your shoulder, and your gaze should be at your fingertips for Trikonasana, triangle pose. Try to open your chest. Bring your body back up to standing. Back into warrior two. Take your left arm to your left thigh. And bring the right arm over your head into Utita Parsvakanasana. Look up towards your hand. Your body should be at a perfect 90 degree angle. Breathe in, breathe out, and let your body collapse inwards. Exhale your hands to frame your foot. Step your left foot back to meet your right. Exhale to Chaturanga Dandasana. Inhale up into Urba Mukha Savasana. Exhale. Into Adho Mukha Savasana. Come down into Child's Pose. bottom of your next exhalation, come back up to the front of your mat, mat. into mountain pose, with your left foot, you're going to turn towards the long side of your mat, 
and take a wide step to the side. Four. Prasarita Parsvakanasana. We're going to hinge forward from the hips and fold forward. Place your hands on the mat. Between your feet, about a block swift distance apart. And you're going to press your head towards the mat. Press the crown of your head towards the floor of the, the bottom of the mat. Breathe in, breathe out. Rise up halfway. Fold forward. Bring your hands to your hips. Rise up halfway. Exhale. Rise up all the way. This time, bring your hands behind your back. Interlace your fingers and fold forward, bringing the crown of your head towards your mat. to your hips, rise up halfway, exhale, rise up all the way, step forward to the front of your mat, take a step back with your right foot about three feet, inhale, take your left hand to the outside of your right foot. You can place it on a block if you need to, or on the floor. Your left hand should come back up behind you. You should look up towards your hand. Breathe in. Breathe out. to the floor, to the mat. Bend your right knee. We're gonna come up into warrior three. Bring your hands to heart center and bring your left leg up behind you. Balancing on that strong right leg, looking forward to a point that doesn't move. Lower that foot back down. And we're going to take a wide step back. We're going to take our hands to heart center. And we're going to bring our left elbow to our right knee and twist. Resting our chest open, looking up towards the sky. Deep breath in, deep breath out. Exhale, bring your hands to the floor. Step back into high plank. Lower down into Chaturanga Dandasana. Inhale up into Urdhva Mukha Savasana. Exhale. Ana Mukha Savasana. Two 
jump or step to the front of your mat. Rise up, hands up overhead, exhale to heart center. Step back with your right foot about three feet. This time we're going to bring our right hand to the outside of our left foot. block. If you can't make it all the way down to your foot. And our left arm is going to come up towards the sky. Bring your hands down to frame your foot. Bend your left knee. We're going to come up into a warrior three. With your right leg out behind you, bring your hands to heart center. Strong in your left standing leg. Looking forward to a point that doesn't move. Breathe in. Breathe out. behind your back. Clasp your hands together. We're going to fold forward over our left leg. Making sure our hips are squared. Pulling the crown of our head towards our knee. to the hips. Inhale halfway up. Exhale to standing. Step your right foot forward to meet your left. Step your left foot back about three feet. Bring your hands behind you, clasp your fingers together, and fold forward. Hips should be squared over your right leg. Crown of your head should come towards your knee. Arms up towards the sky. your hips. Inhale halfway up. Exhale all the way up. Come to the front of your mat. going to come into Dan Diamana Janus Rasasana. So standing firm in your left leg. Bend your right leg and wrap your arms around your shin. When you're comfortable in this position, bring your hands underneath your foot, like a basket. And when you have your balance here, you can lengthen your leg out in front of you. Find a place on the floor 
or the wall that's not moving in focus. And then bring your foot back down. We'll do this on the other side. Standing firm in your right leg. Bend your left knee. Bring it up towards your chest. Wrap your hands around your shin. And as if you're making a basket, bring your hands underneath your foot. And when you have balance in this position, you can lengthen your leg out in front of you. Breathe in. Breathe out. Find, try to find a focal point in front of you that's not moving. On the, either on the floor or on the wall. Release your hands from your foot. Come back to mountain pose. Come to the middle of your mat. Inhale your arms overhead. Let your right hand fall to your side as if you're catching raindrops. Standing firm in your left leg, bend your right knee up towards your bottom and grab your the inside of your foot with your right hand and pull your leg back behind you as far as you can. When you can't pull it, pull it back any further, hinge forward and find a point that's not moving to focus on. This is a dancing pose. Release your leg and come back to stand. We're going to do this on the other side. Inhale your arms up overhead. Exhale, let your left hand fall to your side as if you're catching raindrops. Standing firm in your right leg. Bend your left leg up towards your bottom. Grab your foot and your hand. Press it back towards your bottom. When you can't kick back any further, Start to hinge forward. Try to find a dristy or a focal point that's not moving. Release your hand and foot. Come back to mountain pose. Come to the front of your mat. For Ujjita Hasta Padagustasana. You're going to bring your left hand to your left hip. And you're going to take your big toe of your right foot with a yoga toe grip. And you're going to extend your foot out in front of you, keeping your left foot strong as a light post. When you have this pose, and you feel strong in this pose, you can pull your leg off to the right. Come back to center. Release your leg. Release your toe grip, but not your leg. Keep your leg out and straight in front of you for a few breaths. Bring it back to meet your other foot. Exhale and release. Uttita Hasta Padagustasana on the right side. On the left side, rather. Put all of your weight in your right standing leg. Bend your left leg. Bring it up to your chest. You're going to take your left 
big toe with yoga toe grip. Have your hand on your right hip. So when you're steady in this posture, you're going to extend your left leg out in front of you. And then off to the side and look over your right shoulder. And come back to center. Release your toe, yoga toe grip. And then release your leg. Take a deep breath in. Reach your arms up overhead. Exhale. Fold forward. And hang for a moment. And ragdoll. Exhale, sweep your arms up overhead. Bring your hands to heart center. Our next pose is Virgasasana, tree pose. You're going to put all of your weight into your left standing leg. You're going to take your right foot and turn it out to the side a bit. And you're going to bring that right foot to either your ankle, your shin, or your upper thigh, whichever is more comfortable for you. And you're going to press equally through your foot and your thigh. And then you're going to find a focal point, a dristi in front of you that's not moving. Bring your hands to heart center, or you can bring them overhead. Exhale, hands to heart center. Slowly release the pose and bring your foot back down to meet your other foot. Virksasana on the left side. Put all of your standing weight in your right foot. Take your left foot and turn it out to the side a bit. You can bring your foot to either your ankle, your shin, or your upper thigh, making sure to avoid your knee. You might have to help it up there a bit. Pressing, pressing firmly through your foot and your thigh. You can bring your hands to heart center, or your hands overhead. Finding a focal point in front of you that's not moving. Breathe in. Breathe out. Bring your hands to heart center. Release your foot. From mountain pose, we're going to hinge forward at the hips. We're going to swing our hands like ropes. The right hand coming underneath the left. And clasping our palms together. Bringing our fingers towards each other. When our hands are come towards each other, we're going to rise up standing and we're going to sink down into chair pose. We're going to bring our right foot off to the right and we're going to bring it in and wrap it around our front. Take, wrap it around the front of our left leg and hook it behind our leg. If you can't quite reach this pose, you can sink down a little bit deeper. We're going to hold this pose, squeezing everything together. Inhale and exhale, 
release and fly out of the pose. Garudasana on the left side. Hinge forward at the hips, fold forward. Let your arms swing like ropes. This time your left arm is going to come under your right. Clasping your palms together. Rise up into standing. Sink down into chair pose. Your left leg is going to come off to the left. It's going to come over your right leg and tuck behind your shin. If you can't quite tuck your foot, you can sink down lower. We're going to hold this pose, squeezing everything together as tight as we can. Inhale and exhale. 